independence of the media sector generally is a very positive thing. Yes, we have to apply for licenses, uh, and that takes some time, uh, but ultimately, generally, once we've applied for the license, we can operate the channel, we can program the channel, uh, and we can you know, execute on our business and serve our audiences and nurture those audiences pretty much unfettered. And that's a wonderful thing. So the independence of the media sector, I think, is a really important thing. I think the digitization effort that's going on here is, you know, obviously a big, big initiative. Uh, I know there's been issues relating to the timing and the delays that have happened. I think our view is, and having seen some of the digitizations in other countries, look at it as an objective, providing more choice, more options for consumers is wonderful and it, it is an incredibly powerful uh, goal. Uh, the timing in these things is hard. Most countries that have done it before, the US being sort of a perfect example, have had similar delays uh, where they've had to sort of uh, uh, take additional time. Um, this is a big country um, and, uh, and so while, you know, uh, the thing that I think we think is most important is at the end of the day, the government stays committed uh, and has continued to back the objective of getting to a full digitization, which I think will provide way more opportunities for choice for consumers, uh, which I think is a very good thing. You know, we already produce uh, hundreds of hours of content uh, in, uh, in India uh, over the last several years. Uh, we only see that continuing to grow, which is producing more uh, local content. Uh, are the formats and the content sources coming from outside of India important? Um, sure, those will continue to be core uh, in many ways, but we use a balance of those international stories with universal themes, you know, dubbed and localized to make them feel very much like a story of a person next door in many ways. Um, the challenge there is what we have found in most markets is the market is very good at defining what a consumer will or will not tolerate. Um, and as you think about the move to HD, uh, which has been a great a sort of huge jump in quality, and you pay for you pay for HD. Um, if you think about multi-screen access, um, you know then you think of another step where you're giving the consumer something they could never have had previously. Um, if you think of uh, you know cloud storage and ability to actually store content and provide an entertainment experience that someone can access on any device. Uh, and pick up right where they left off in mid the middle of a series on their TV set and they get into their car and they want to watch the remainder or their, you know, uh, at their, uh, uh, somewhere else and they want to watch the rest of it on the tablet. That completely seamless media experience is a service and is a new offering that I think, again, you look at consumers, if it's the right type of content, I think consumers are willing to pay for it.